The Sikh I was learning is in Sikh is Hedik Ches, the fourth Sikh at the Pasha's Bolok. The Din is as the Aftaras, Aftaras from Aparsha, Muzaim in Aparsha. The Loch is, as in Shachonoruch, that when you say the Aftaras of a certain Parsha, a certain Sedra, it has to be Me'in in Aparsha. It has to be from the same subject as the Parsha. Nochmer, more than that, Me'in from the Sim Aparsha. It has to be similar to, has a connection to the end of the Parsha. And that brings the Ha'ora from the Bish Yosef, Antur, and Dalter, and Shachonoruch. That you have to say the haftera the kesher the connection to what it said in the end of the parsha. Azayeh the shaykes in parsha bolak mit the haftera is the chura klora. So according to this, the chura this connection between parshas bolak and the haftera is very clear. In the haftera, that that sailed in the rebbe shezok tzidi in the haftera, which is in Tanakh and Micha, it tells us. That Hashem says to the Eden, Ami, Schon no Mayots, Bolok Melech Meyov. Remember what advice Bolok Melech Meyov gave? Ma'ono Esa Bilam Bembeim in Ashitim. And what Bilam Bembeim answered him in Ashitim Dari of Shitim. That's what it mentions in the Haftarah. But thus is the Teich from Parshas Bolok. That's the contents of Parshas Bolok. Parshas Bolok talks about this whole discussion between Bilok and what Bilok, Bolok and Bilam wanted to do. As is of a movement, but it's understood. The Pratapia Yudua, as Mikore is the Aftere Gikum and Bemoki for the Ganze Kriyas Hashem Shabbos Yontif, it's understood based on the fact, especially based on the fact that the whole union of saying the Aftere came in place of the Parsha. And the, he brings the order forth from the Avudrahem and Lavush and the Bach and the Taz and the Altar and that there was a time when the Goyim made Exeter that you shouldn't be able to read the Torah, the Parsha on Shabbos. So instead of that, the Chacham said they should read the Haftar. And then later, when the Gzeda went down and you were able to read the Parsha, the Chacham said, let that the din of the Haftar stay. So it all started that the Haftar is in place of the whole Parsha. So based on that, that the Haftar is in place of the whole Parsha, it must be as the Shaykh has vision that Haftar, but they said it is meat blazing in an ancient composite. So it has to be that the connection with the Haftar and the said is not only one posse, but in the Teich and Kloli. It must be the Teich and Kloli of the Haftar is similar to the Parsha. Because the whole union of the Haftar is because it's in place instead of the Parsha. So far, what we said, the connection between the Haftar and the Parsha is one posse. The post, the Haftar, there's a posse in the Haftar which says, Am is Chornamayot, Bolot Melech Meyav, Maona is Bilam Mebeim and Ashiti. So it's a connection to that. One possible, but really it should be connected that the whole haftarah has to do with the parsha. Later you do as in the as the teichon of an union is merumus in zayin aschol of a reish, and since it's known that the teichon of something is in the beginning of the union, is verstanden because is do a shaykh as vishn aschol as haftarah. There must be that there's a connection not only from that one possible, but the whole haftarah and specifically the beginning of the haftarah, because that's the beginning of the whole haftarah. So there's a connection between the Parsha of Bolok with the general Haftarah and specifically with the beginning. And what's the beginning of the Haftarah? So the Pasuk says, There will be the leftovers of Eden amongst the many nations. And what will be their level? They will not hope, put their hope in the person. They will not wait for people. In other words, they will really trust Hashem. So this is the beginning of that data, and that must have a connection with Parshas Bolok, with Siyam Parshas Bolok, with Parshas Bolok, and the end of Parshas Bolok, because we said before, the data has to do with the end of the Parsha, and the beginning of the data has to do with the end of the Parsha. And the beginning of the data is not the Pesach where it says, remember what Bolok said and what Bilam did, etc., etc. The beginning is something else. It says that he even at that time, what the data talks about, are going to have the talk and trust Hashem and not people. So there's a connection between that and Parshas Bolok, and mainly the end of Parshas Bolok. Now, what's the connection? The Rebbe goes on to explain like this. The Avtaira talks about the Novi is telling us that what's going to be at the beginning of the Gula. We're talking about the Gula of Mashiach. What will be in the beginning? That means not concerning the time when Mashiach will be here, and it'll be definitely the time of Mashiach. And will be all the wars will be over. The Sheikh will finish all the wars. 
Gamer love the Sheikh Hamecha, then David is going to turn already. Mashiach will cause that the whole world will turn and they all serve Hashem. They'll all put their shoulder to serve Hashem. It's not at that time yet. We're talking before that. What I mean that after the sales, yes, but the only fear fell, Mahomes, me the Amim, Umasalam. Because in the play, it talks about that there will be still wars with the nations, with the Goyim. Like the Pasik says, there'll be the wars, there'll be the fights, there'll be all these things. So we're still talking at a time when the Gula is not here, the complete Gula is not here. It's just the beginning of the Gula. Nochmer, go further. It's not only the time when the Aftera talks about there will still be evil on the outside, means among the world there'll be evil. But not only that, which means for Numa Salem, from the people of the world. There's still a time when there is evil inside amongst Eden. By Eden Gufe, amongst Eden, there's still not, everything is not so clean. The Azok, like the Posik says that what's going to happen? Hashem says, I'm going to destroy all the magic, black magic from among, in your hands, which means amongst Eden. I'm going to destroy your Rabbi Dezorah. When the Tash Tasherech, I'm going to destroy your Asher, Asher is a tree of Abed Azor, etc., etc. So David says, I'm going to destroy that. That means that by Eden, it's still a time when there are some Eden who still will have Abed Azor. When the Ra, as I take it, when the post talks about the time when the Ra, the evil by Eden is so strong, I mean, that's on comments, I see you, I'm a Milo, that you need the Abed Azor from above, should help you be to him, to become Potter from the Ra, from Abed Azor. With the Posik in Medayik, because the Posik says clearly, Vihrati, in the Tashti, I'm going to destroy. It means it's a time when you need the Abish, you should destroy David Azor. So obviously, we're not talking at a time when the Gula is here and the Gula is complete. Well, the Aftera Ret, Vagnus Mafanas Cholas, the Gula. The Aftera talks at a time when the Gula is just going to start. And as well as the let's talk on us the Gula Shleim will be the last preparations for the complete Gula. So that's what the Aftera talks about. As I already said, the Parsha Bolok. So this is a similarity to the Sedra, which is Parshas Bol, the Great Vegan and then Luchon's man talks about a similar time. So on Farnarain coming in there to Israel to Mesh Shemol before the Eden entered there to Israel the first time. Eden Zain and Dem, which in Given by Arvis Mayav, maybe Liad and Yerechai, the Eden were ready by the border. They were in Arvis Mayav, which is right across the Yardin, which is by the border. Great Aran to get it. So ready to go in, it's almost going into Israel, which is Badugma to the Knis left to Israel, but the Gul Asida them. Being ready to go in Teres Yisrael is similar to the time when Mashiach will come and will be ready to go to the Gula. The fact of the do, especially, it's known, quotes from the Gemara and the Medrash, as a mole hachet, the Eden wouldn't sin, well, by the Esh, the Knesset, and the soul given the Gula Shlemer. That when Eden had Teres Yisrael the first time, that would have been the Gula Shlemer. So that shows even more the connection between the Eden entering Teres Yisrael the first time to the goal that'll be lost in love. It. So mainly here we see a similarity between the Aftera and the close Aftera and Parshas Bolok. Parshas Bolok talks about Eden when they're not in the Israel yet, but they're ready to go in, which is similar to the Aftera, which talks about Eden ready to the goal of Shlema. Not yet the goal of Shlema, but ready for the goal of Shlema. So now that we established that this is the timing, timeline when the Aftera is talking about, so the Rebbe says the Achona to the goal is so what is the preparation to the Gula? That's how the Aftera starts. And the Posik says, You're not going to hope to a man. You're not going to wait for people. That means that there will be the complete Bitochen in the Yiddish. Even if it's, though it's before the complete Gula. But that's when the Zayn, say that nevertheless, the say there will be, I'm a vetzich, 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 I'm a we won't have to rely, we won't have to come on to people. But those is scale like hidden means also not to rely on other people yidden. Not only you won't have to rely on the Goyim, but it'll be a time when we will not rely even on other yidden. The estate, the Posik that says, order cursed is the person that relies on another person. And that means even yidden, because when it says that the person who relies on Odom is cursed, what does Odom mean? When Atam Kriyim Adam, the Gemara says that the Yidden are called Adam. That means that that's also not good. To have to rely on another person is not really good. And that's something that says order. It's cursed that if you put your trust in another person. 
Remember that's by laws and blaze of the Mabish. It'll be a time when they will rely only on Hashem. We should never, like it says, Baruch Hagev Hashem. Hashem. That blessed is the person that puts his trust in Hashem. So cursed is a person who trusts his, puts his trust in another person. And we'll be right before Mashiach, they will, the Yidin will be in a matzah that they will not put their trust in another person, not in another Yid, but they will only put the trust in Hashem. Now, the Baldar, the Posegret, in the Zmaf and Aschol and Sagula, since the Posegret talks in the time of the beginning of the Gula, he's moving for that to understand. And the Demba says, Okla, Yikabal, each game, when the Posegret says that they will not put their trust, they will not wait, hope. And another person is the Posegret, Sheila, Nitnor, Anhoge, Asura. The Posegret is here, is trying to exclude, saying, not something that's forbidden. Anhoge, Hei, Pechatei, a behavior which is against the Tere. Evelcha, state order, Ageve, Shifta, Vodom. Where it says, cursed is a person that puts his trust in another person. That's cursed means it's bad. So obviously, since it's close to the Gula, we're not only saying that's not going to be. The Posik says that they will not put their trust in a person, means even in a way which would be allowed, Alpiteta. But them will also not be. And they will explain what that means. But it's not only that if we will not trust, put a trust in human beings and not in Hashem, which is also. That's obviously. But we're saying something more, that even if there is a kosher away, you're allowed to put your trust in another person. Even that will not be then. What does that mean that you're allowed to and it won't be? So the Rebbe explains like this. It says in posting, Hashem will bless you in everything that you do. When the Sifri touched the soap, the Sifri explains it. It, it basically breaks up the posik in two halves. The beginning of the posik is, Hashem will bless you. So right away, the Sifri says, If Hashem gives you the bracha anyway, you don't have to do anything. The best thing to do, don't do anything. Don't work, don't do anything. Because it won't make a difference anyway. Hashem gives the bracha. And if Hashem doesn't want to give you the bracha, it won't help you working. You still won't get it. If Hashem wants to give you the bracha, why do you have to work? You can give it without you working. So therefore, I would think, if you would just learn the first half of the posting, Hashem will bless you. You would say you should sit bottle, don't do anything. Talmud Leimer, that's what the Posik finishes off and says, Bechol Ashatase, in everything that you do. Hashem does want you to work. But says it means that Alpiteira, Dafra Machana Kedon Berechateve. Alpiteira, you have to make a vessel in a natural way. You have to do things naturally in order to get the Brocha of Hashem. And then same Chanal Anes, you can't rely on miracles. They sit home and there'll be a miracle that you'll get your panose, you'll get your food, etc., etc. You can't do that. That's not what Hashem wants. The Teira doesn't want that. And since naturally you have to come on to another person, sometimes you even have to come on to non-Jews. So it makes sense, even al potato, there is a place to think that you should hope to another person. You should put your trust in another person. So al potato, you're allowed to. You're allowed to go to another person and work for him in order to get your panose. And that's not something wrong. I, you might think that it is wrong because the Pasik said we mentioned before, order ragever ashifta vada, curses a person and puts his trust in the, in the person. It's no contradiction, the Rebbe says. This is not a contradiction from here, from what we said now that a potato you're allowed to, so to speak, rely on another person. No contradiction to this Pasik where it says, order ragever ashifta vada, curses a person that relies on another person. The Rebbe explains why. Because when you make a kele naturally, so you're talking hoping and putting your trust in another person, but not because that other person is the one that's going to make the difference. Poshet, you're trusting the other person. Trust Hashem as Erbet Im help on Durchten Kele Belavush as a Tzukikvet in Derech Hatzeve. You trust Hashem that Hashem will help you that He'll give you the bracha. That whatever you do in Derech should succeed. So really, whom are you trusting here? You're trusting the Eibishter. So even though you could hope for a person, you could, in other words, wait and rely on another person, it's still okay, I'll be you, Because that's what the Eibishter wants. The Eibishter wants you to do in Derech So you have to rely on another person. I, it says, don't put your trust in that person, put your trust in Hashem, because you're not putting your trust in the person. You're putting your trust in Hashem and you trust Hashem that He will, through this kela that you made in Derech Hatev, He will give you the bracha. I mean, them bashtei the roof to menaz managula, and this is the specialty of the time of the gula. Them will be zayin ketal meis Hashem. The pasuk says it will be like dew 
that comes from Hashem. What's the difference between talamotor, do and rain? Because rain comes because people ask for it. But tal, it doesn't come to the world for a person. But like, the possible, what it means is, as Rasha says, and that's and the Eden people don't have to ask for a tal. You have to ask for rain. Sometimes it doesn't come. You have to, ask, you have to do something. You have to do for it. Tal, the Gemara says, never stops. Tal goes naturally always. So too, the Eden will be like Tal. They will not trust in anything but in Hashem. It won't be dependent on a person at all. So this means a higher madrege, that because it's close to the Gula, it be a higher madrege, not only you will not trust, put your trust in the person as the, whatever the person will do. You trust Taki in Hashem, but it could be that you trust in Hashem, but you still have to rely on a person. And then before Mashiach will come already, the level will be they will not even rely on a person. It's similar, not really. The Rebbe underlines the word Adderich, stresses it. Now, Chesidus explains the Pasek. There's a Pasek that says, It's better to rely on Hashem than to put your trust in the human being. What does that mean? And it says it's better to rely, to put your trust in Hashem. Then putting your trust in the person, mean better. You're not allowed to put your trust in the person. So Chesidus says, from that is moving, we understand as Eich B'teir Ba'odom is mutter. Not derech ba'noge. We're talking about a case where trusting a person is allowed. It's also a derech. Lach says B'ashem is better. To rely, put yourself under the, the control of Hashem is even better. What does that mean? What should that trusting the person is also good? So Chesidus explains in Chesidus terminology. Not exactly the way we said before, but it's similar. So Chesidus explains that B'teir Ba'odom maintain the B'odom Ha'odom 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 Trusting a person means trusting Hashem. But trusting Hashem the way he's on a level, which he is called Odom Elyon, which is called Mamalak because we know the connection to Hashem in the world is two ways. There's the way Hashem is in the world put in Teva, or the way he's Mamalak in that Teva. That's the difference. Usually it says Meshem Avai and Shem Alekim. Shem Alekim is Begmatriya Teva. So Shem Alekim represents the way the Abish that runs the world, but it's Melubish, it's covered up within nature. That's why it's called Teva. Teva means, Russian, besides nature, it means sunken, drowned. When something sunk into the water, it's there completely. You just can't see it. David that controls the world, makes everything happen, but we can't see it. Shemavaya represents David the way it's beyond nature. That's why Shemavaya is made up of three words, Hoya, Hevi, the year, past, present, and future, all in one word, which is higher than Teva. In Teva, you can't have all three together. And that level of Hashem, the way it's beyond the nature, is called Memalokalalmin. No, it's called Sefer Kalam, sorry. The Malakalaman is Davish, that's Malubish. The Malakalaman means he fills the world, is inside the world, and runs the world being inside it. But there's a higher level, which is not called Odom Elian, it's not the Malakalaman, and that's Hashem who is beyond. So when the Postic says, Tev Lachsev Hashem Mifteh Abodim means, Teh Abodim means the Odom Elian, like it goes on Davish, but the way he's referred to as Odom Elian, which is the Malakalaman. If you're connected only to that level of Hashem, the way is Malakalaman, yes, since it's Mulubish and Teva, you have to do something in Derech Ateva. You have to make a vessel, or as the Welt calls it, Hishtadlis in Derech Ateva in a natural way, in which the Broch of the Ebesh should come into. So you have to make a Kela. And the Ebesh is Tev Lachsez Bavaye. That's why he says it's better. If you put yourself under Havaya, which Havaya is in the save of Kalamin, that's the higher level. If you're in that Madrege, you don't have to do anything in Derech HaTeva. You don't have to do any Ishtadlis in Derech HaTeva. No, but who Yichal Kelecha, there's a post that says he, so Poshib Shah, who Yichal Kelecha means he is going to support you. But Chesidus Taiches, Yichal Kelecha comes from the expression of the word Kele. Means that made the kele too. So in Chesidus it says there are two levels. There's a level that you trust Malakalamin, you're connected to Malakan's Devishter, but still through Dark and then there's a higher level. Similar to that is what the Rebbe said before in the simpler words. That in the time before Mashiach, the Pasik says that you will not be in a level 
well, you have to make a kalim derech and you trust Hashem, he's the one that's going to give you the bracha, but you still trust Hashem through the kalim derech what will be then, lay a kavali, she won't have to have the connection to the person at all, it'll come straight from Hashem. So, so far it seems, now, what's going to happen when Mashiach will come in this the way this Posik describes? We won't need the nature. That's what it would seem. Naturally, you need the Kalin and Derechateva, but this is going to be a time you will not need to come out to another person. You'll be higher than Teva. Teva will become bottle, so to speak, then. You won't need to work in order to make money or whatever it is. Teva will become bottle. So the Rebbe says that's not the Pshat. It's not what he meant. Because the Tachlis HaKavone, the real, real purpose is not that the teva should become bottle completely nor other contrary to you have to purify and elevate the teva itself should be revealed to everybody that teva is one with David. see if you if you say there is no teva that means like this there is no teva so seemingly you could say, well, there's like a conflict, so to speak, between Teva and Eibishter, and Eibishter wins. So you push away Teva. That's not the Pshat. The Pshat is there's no conflict. You have to show that the Teva itself is nothing but the Eibishter. That's the Tach. So the Funis Vashtani if you use that logic concerning Arinian, at the Pshat from the Yikavali, it says that will come a time you will not hope to a person. What we said before means that you'll only be connected to Eibishter. You won't have to go to Dark Teva. Is neat doesn't mean as it's a bottle of the hill from the mish. It'll become bottled the help of a person. Because that means the teva is bottled. Nor as dembled but teva goof as I betachas I yichud until the kusi is borach. That time, teva itself will remain, but it'll be connected one with the Ebishta. These we vet in them zen, it has a shishna place as Hashem. In the teva, we will see that it's Hashem. Not only we'll see that teva is a lavush to Hashem, does it, but it's through the teva. So teva is a mitzvah. And the Hashem helps through the Teva. You'll see that the Teva itself is only the help of Hashem and not of the person. And he explains what that means. And he says it like this, very interesting. In the Minya Fana Shatas, when we said before that the Pasik says, Hashem Hashem will give you the blessing in everything that you do. And as we said before from the Sifri, that you have to do, the Ibishta wants us to do. So when you have the Ashatas, what you do, there are two ways to approach it. Number one, Aleph, the person knows that Teva itself doesn't have a Mitzvah. You're doing Teva because the Teva says Ashatas, but the Teva itself doesn't have a Mitzvah. But what is it? It's like the axe in the hand of the chopper. This is always a Moshe and Russian we see before in, in, in different in, in bottom and the uh, Based on, on whatever the Samach Tzedek, etc., etc. So, what does that mean? It means like this: When you have, have a person chop off a tree, he uses a hatchet. He uses an axe. The axe is the kela. So, who chopped off the tree? The axe. But you can't thank the axe. You can't ask the axe. Let's say if someone wants to chop down the tree, he'll walk over to the axe and say, "Axe, please chop down the tree." The axe, doesn't, the axe is not. It's only a vessel. You have to come to the person. So you could work. As the Postic says, Asher Tatsa, and you realize that the work is not the real thing. It's only the tool in the hand of the chopper, so to speak. It's the tool in the hands of Hashem, how Hashem gives you the bracha. It's Him giving the bracha through the kale of the work that you do. From that thing, but this is a level that still, since Hashem said it should be that you should work. You make a vessel naturally. So the nature also has some space, some place, also has an importance. Not because the Teva in itself has this importance. Because after all, Hashem said that you should work with Erech Teva. That makes the Teva has some importance in your eyes. So really, it's nothing wrong with it, basically. Because you know the Teva is only a kale in the hand of David. Only a garzim biyadah chaitzeh. But nevertheless, the garzan is a garzan. The Ebesha wants you to give importance or because the Ebesha said to do in Derech HaTever, it has an importance, take because of the Ebesha. Then you have a second level, a higher level. The reason he's doing Teva is only because Hashem said, him, said it to him, told him that. 
And that teva has no importance to him at all. Because when you do in that you see in it all it is is a means how to fulfill the will of Hashem, the will of the Creator. So you're doing teva, but you, when you look at the teva, teva is only to you. It's, it's basically like a mitzvah. Hashem said to work, so it's a mitzvah. It's abish as a thing. That's what it is. But also there be and that was going to be like bring araya. This explains. This is an explanation. The Maimon Chazal, Chazal, what Chazal say, it's impossible. The Gemara says like this in Shabbos that there's a posseg that says, It's a posseg. It's a posseg in Yeshaya. So the Gemara says the six words in this posseg represent, or there are remes, a hint to the six sudorim of Mishnayis. And the other words, we see the connection. Itecho, for instance, means it's time. So that's connected to Mayed. Mayed where it talks about time, Shabbos, Pesach, etc. Et but the first word, which is Aramis from saying the Zroim, is the word Itecho. Itecho means your time. What does Itecho have to do with, with uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Itecho. Amunas, it says, Hoya Amunas Itecho, not Itecho. The word Amunas is Zroim. Hoya Amunas Itecho, Amunas is Zroim. What's the connection between Amunah and Zroim? Amunah is Amunah, Zroim is planting. So the Chazal say, as Amunah is the say that Zroim, Amunah represents Zroim, Shemamin Bechaye Loman Yisraeli. Because when a Yid plants, it's because he has Amunah. He believes in the Abish, he believes in the one that lives forever, which is the Abish, and that's why he plants. Which means like this It's a natural thing. If you plant, it'll grow. It makes no difference who plants. Or even if it, it's natural to grow, if a seed falls in without any person doing anything. And its own. Is the teva from the red latzmir, the nature? It's the nature of the earth to make things grow. Nochmed, nochmed, it goes further. The teva is nicky one in the red in a nation via state. This nature is not just a nature that sometimes happens. It's forever. The Pesach says, when David has set up the seasons, things when, when you plant and it'll grow, it's, and then you'll cut the, cut the grain, whatever it is, means it will never stop. So it's a real ingrown nature in the world. So you would imagine, why does a person plant? Because naturally it'll grow. But that's when still, and after all that, the teva that teva to grow has no importance in the eyes of a yid. When there is a reya, and when a yid plants, tuter does not fall up the teva that zriya bring in atzmich. Not because naturally by planting it will make it grow naturally. Nor blaze where it is maimim mechayi alamim the fire is reya. Nor only because he believes in David, which is a big chiddush. Only because he believes. See that shows it's the second madrege. According to the first madrege, you believe in the teva too. You believe that I'm planting because I'll be teva, it'll grow. But why am I doing it? Because I know Davish that put the teva in, and Davish is going to make it grow. But teva is also, so you can't say I'm only planting because I believe in Davish. I'm planting because I know I'll be teva, it'll grow. When the Gemara says that mami b'chayu lamim b'zereya means that the reason you plant is only because you believe in Davish. You're planting, and why? What do you think is going to happen? Davish, you trust Davish, will make it grow. I, it goes through teva. But teva is so not important, so not to take the smoking, because you see lechatchila in the teva, you see that this is the Ebesh. And the Rebbe says further, the chilitz vision, this way, even the reta and hog is the difference between the two mentioned before ways of behaving. It's not only how much you feel the bitochen and the It's not only how much you feel the bitochen and the Ebesh. But if you're in the second one, you feel more bitochen, the first one, you feel less bitochen. That could be bring a result, a difference in the result when it comes to your actual behavior, in your thought, your speech, and your action. Depends, certain things will depend on the two levels and explains what it means. If it's like the first way that when you do ashatasa, David Shavati is do is a mitzvah. The teva fanem by manor teva also means something. Even though he knows and he believes that the teva is all comes from the Abish and they, you're doing it because Abish said so, but nevertheless, teva means something. 
So the fact that you do means you plant or whatever you do in Derech HaTeva and Teire Mitzvah are two separate inyonim. Because this is not a mitzvah. It's just a way that the Eibush there behaves is he, through Teva, gives you what he wants to give you. But Ashita says something. You have to do al Derech HaTeva. And mitzvah is not that. Teire and mitzvah are completely the Eibush there. And therefore, when a skumso has stated to Teire and mitzvah in the Ritzaskis in Derech HaTeva, if there is a contradiction between Teire and mitzvah and you're getting involved in natural things that you have to do. The dogma, for instance, says, Ebert at Meiraz and Betfilek and they're on Ben Bakanshaft, the Asoka of a Kadena. Could be a case where you know that if you're going to dive along, this, you're going to lose the opportunity of making a relationship with somebody that will help you in your business. Or Ebert at Mahadez and the Sinus Doki Beribu, if you're going to be Mahadez and give a lot of Zdoki, but the Master Uis fell on Gelt, it's a Rhein Ligan Niki Chef who might. Not have enough money to invest in your business. So here you have a contradiction between the Torah and Mitzvahs and the Dara Hateva that you have to do. So what's going to happen? So if you're in the first level, when there is a contradiction, it was by Iman Eifun and Aninya from Eimulim Yamas. Yes, there's a fight here. There's a fight with the Yetzatev and the Yetzahara. It's the Lashon of the Posik in Pelis between Esav and Yaakov. So this is an expression we always use between the Yetzahara and the Yetzatev. So first of all, I feel when there is my battle of the Risaskis and Dakatev, even if you'll come to the proper conclusion and you'll forego the involvement in Teva. You know that the Ibish Tesbrocha makes you rich. When Dark Teva then Blaza Kelo Novush and Birchas Hashem and the ways of Teva, the natural things is only a Lovush, a Kela, a vessel, and a garment to the Birch Hashem. And therefore you come to a decision. There is a war inside you. You come to the decision because you realize the truth. On two and three mitzvahs, so you do three mitzvahs and you'll push away the derech hateva. The salts and the from the chomer is gabrus of the nefesh shabamis. It's the form of a war, and your nefesh lekis overcomes the nefesh shabamis. On the zblayt alam all the meglach kait v'leim v'leim yemes lehek hatasholim. There's still always a possibility that could come a time when the other side will win. At the tzadam anagets will give us time. The one the opposing side will win. And you will not do Tayyidim Mitzvah. This time you realize the truth wins, sometimes it won't. But if you're at the second level, that the actual physical thing is not in the Mitzvah in itself. You only do the Derech HaTeva to fulfill the will of the Ebeshtah. So you're doing the Derech HaTeva is serving of the Ebeshtah. That's all it is. You know, the Pesach says, All your, your ways, meaning you gosh for the things that you do, you should know Hashem. It says in Pirkei Yobos, whatever you do, your things should be L'Shem Shemayim. So you could think that the Mitzvah's Gashmi is Tebis Mokim, but it has to be knowing that the soft to soft everything is Tebis but in this person, by him, he sees in the Drachecho and in the Shem Shemayim, in the, in the, I mean, in my Skoma Secha, in the Bechol Drachecho, he doesn't see it as a Bazun de Zach from the Shem Shemayim and there. It's a separate thing than the, the Shem Shemayim and there. You have the Masecho, and Masecho is done with Shem Shemayim. You have Drachecho, your ways, and it's Do'eyo, you know him from it. But it's Nozizayna Durge Durge Mitno Shem Shemayim and there, Bis Yiskulachad. My secho and drachecha, your own terach hateva, is absorbed as one with the Ebishter. So it's not two separate things. Therefore, if there is a conflict between Torah and mitzvahs and doing things in terach hateva, by this type of person, there's nothing besides the Rosn of the Ebishter. It's fashtanik, we understand that a mitzvah can't design the seed of that faith mitzvah. You can't, he doesn't even look at it as a contradiction. The rather have a mitzvah, get out mitzvah, one mitzvah is rather mitzvah. So for sure you will not do the derech hateva because one mitzvah brings another. So the mitzvah of doing tayda mitzvah is obviously stronger than the mitzvah we call of, of, of doing things in derech hateva. So if there's a conflict whether you should daven better or go to the business, you won't, you won't even have a, a fight because the whole thing of going to do your business is a mitzvah. Now here you have a real mitzvah, which this one, like, a, like basically, like if we have a conflict between two mitzvahs, the stronger mitzvah, the more important mitzvah, and the lesser mitzvah. So there are halachas that this more important mitzvah overweighs. So here also, they're both a mitzvah, so there is no conflict. There's like, like there's no conflict when you have two mitzvahs. It's not a conflict. 
You just have to know what the Allah is. Which of the two mitzvahs is the Allah overweighs? So here too, the states of davening more is overweighs the mitzvah, the mitzvah, so to speak, similar to a mitzvah of doing your work with Derech HaTeva. So for sure you will learn, you'll give tzedakah, even though you might miss out on Derech HaTeva, but Derech HaTeva is nothing but a mitzvah. This is a better mitzvah, so this will do. So there's a, a difference between these two ways, not only in the person's mind, how his outlook on Hashem, or what his betochen on Hashem is, but it comes down, practically speaking, what will be if there is seemingly a conflict between the two. This difference between the two ways doesn't start when it actually comes to a decision you have to make between the two sides. Not the Torah might come and tell you to be aver on something, and that's where it starts the difference. On one way you won't be aver, on one way you will do be aver. That's not where it starts. No, from the chuta side, it starts from a hint, from a hair, from a thread, from a small thread. And that's where it starts. It's based on the lotion of the Gemara that I was going to bring soon. Gemara says, Kacham the, the, This is the way the Yitzhara works. Today he tells you do this. Tomorrow he tells you do something else. Finally, he tells you worship of the Zara. But what it means, the Pashup Shat is the Zara can't come to a person and say worship of the Zara. He knows him then. He's not going to listen to him. So first he comes and says, do a little, little Aveda. Okay. Tomorrow already, he says, do a bigger Aveda, a bigger Aveda. Finally, he tells him to have a Zara. The Rebbe brings here a difference. Hayem, the Hascholis, the Zara claim, the Shmaskim. He starts off not by saying do something wrong. He's saying you're right. You have a fight between your Yitzhateb and Yitzhahara, which means that this is uh, the first level we're talking about. The first level, so you have Dar Khateva, Dar Khateva is supposed to be done. And then you have what uh, that the Tachlis is the Roch of the So the Yitzhahara does not, and then you have a conflict when it comes to giving up Torah mitzvahs. For the sake of derech, the kale of derech hatever, the itzhara will not come to you and tell you, you know what? Do derech hatever. Forget about teira mitzvahs. He won't come there. What he'll come and tell you is claimish. Means seemingly he's maskim. Adis askes and derech hatever. Tony zayim b'stiret v'tim. He tell you right. Sure, sure. You can't have that the derech hatever that you have to do should overweigh the teira mitzvahs. Fine. He's maskim to it. He says to him, you know, you're right. This is stronger. This is also important. He tells him there is a teva is a teva. Teva is important. But teda mitzvahs are more important. So even though he tells you to do the teda mitzvahs stronger than doing the tenach teva, but what does he tell you? But you should know, teva also has a chshivis. This is even more important. So what happens today? The other one is more important. But this is also Chshivis. But Lamocha, Sof, Sof, tomorrow, the end, Machte the Dark Yateva Paranike. Now, not only means Dark Yateva, Teva is also something, but this is more important. Maybe Teva becomes more important because if it's a Metsias already. What the Pirish Kweik, which Khmeru Khomi Admura, the Tzidik Rebbe says in the Maime Chazal, explains the Maime Chazal, it says, Kachom Nosa Shuri Eitzahore. Like I said before, this is the Umnes. Umnes means the trade of the Eitzahore. Ayay Meimar, I say, Kach, the day he tells you do this. So the Frigger of a Taicha, the Itzahara, Hapniton, Einstein, Naidna, or Tom Farkert from Zainrot Samiti. The Itzahara doesn't come to a person to do something wrong, which is against, not only against the English, against what the person himself wants. You know, the Rambam says that the real Rotten of every Yid, even the guy, if not from every Yid, wants to do to rot, this, his real Rotten, do the Abish as Rotten. The Yitzhara will never come tell you, go against the Abish's will and against your own will. Adarab, the contrary, do that, do exactly what the Abish wants. He agrees that you should do Tayyip Mitzvah. Is he Mazbi as healthy as Apisaychu for Nefesh Ramat Yitzhara? Not only that, he is Mazbi, he brings thoughts in the person's mind how Apisaychu, that the right thing is to do the Tayyip Mitzvah. So what's wrong with that? But since he puts in his mitzvah, he gives an opinion when it comes to it. Happens to be a good opinion, opinion to do it. But already we count his opinion. You get the person used to that you need the Yitzhara Saskom. In other words, before you, since he explained to you how good this is in Seichel, 
So tomorrow, when it's come to do another mitzvah, you're going to start thinking. So what's the seichel behind it? The fear that that'll bring as lamochar emer achem like that tomorrow will tell you even worse and worse, and finally it'll tell you the way to do So the same thing that I've said here that when we're talking about these two levels, so the first level where he gives chshivas to the derech hateva, even though he knows that the is a bishter, but the moment that you give chshivas, who knows where it could lead you to? But the second way won't happen. On the river is the vex of Avodan is the boy from Tabula's Yetzara, the right way to make sure that you don't fall into the trap of the schemes of the Yetzara. Nidur Chanaved al Pitan Vedat is not when you serve Hashem with Seichel, with understanding what it means that you understand is good and that's why you do it. But Tam Vedat, Gitan Ort, Padam Tsis, whatever. Al Piseichel, there's a place for nature. So if there's a place for nature, you can't be in the second level. So you start off with the first level. And nature is also important. But the Abishir is more, and who knows what that will lead you to. But the Bittel, Messiah Snefesh, and Rotz and Elion, the Mile of Matamadas, if you have a Bittel, complete Bittel, and you have Messiah Snefesh beyond Seichel, only based on Seichel, you have a Bittel and Messiah Snefesh with David as Rotz, because the Bittel is by Mito, came with Sia, Suiza, and Rotz and Elion. Then there's nothing else but David as Rotz, so it'll never come to a point that you will have Derechateva win, because there is really no Derechateva, as much as there is Derechateva. Because that we're doing Derech HaTeva, but in, you see in the Derech HaTeva <coughs> that this is only what David wants. Me'ein v'al derech demchilek anal sivgim o tzishlach set Hashem b'teir vodom. Like we said before, the difference, the Tzidah says, that it says, teir v'lach set Hashem better to be under the, the control of the Abish there than trust, putting the trust in a person. So what did we say before it means? Lach says bavaya means to connect yourself to Seib of Kalamun, which is higher than the Abish the way is in Teva. The Teir Bode means you're trusting the Odom Elian, which is the Ebishter, but the way the Ebishter is in Teva. So this will fit to this too. It's not Chinez Beteir Bode, Mamalakalamim. If you have only the second level, the level Beteir Bode, which we said before is Mamalakalamim, was the Gmos of Aveda Sodom, is an Aveda of Tavadas. If you show the parallel to the Aveda, to the connection to Malakalamim, is when you serve the Ebishter with the way things are in this world, which means with Tavadas, with Seicho. Then you have to work in there is such thing as Tevet. The Ebishter put himself into the Tevet, but there is such thing as Tevet. But if you have the higher level, but if you have the level, the higher 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 level, if you apply that at the parallel in the Aveda means when you have the complete Bittl beyond the Tavadas, from Dark Tevet, in pieces, so the nature is not take his mock. Mudribir is the Seder who you call it. So then, if you're in that higher level, the Seder is that the Abishter makes the Kaleb for you too. You don't even have to make the Kaleb. It's an Takya Faran Kaleb. They're a Takya Kaleb because the way the Abishter made it, it's not going to fall into your, you know, into your head something, in your mouth, fall food. There has to be a Kaleb there, but the Abishter will make it. Or as a Kumim Mamaila, we come from above. Like we said before, as Abishter, then their men stood with Dark Yatever. That means he will talk a dun there. It doesn't mean that you won't do the kelim aderech. That kela is the ibishter. Signs they by him can see his need. This is the person that the kelim aderech atav is not a mitzvah. This is nitzayich zogn as he's do as asish. For the the person's outlook when you're in the level of seva, you connect the seva of kolalmin. You can't say you're being held by a person. Ah, you are being held by a person because aderech atav you went to work. But the dark yatav is an echad with an ibishter. Dark yatav is the ibishter himself because that's what the ibishter is because he's beyond tav. The tav is not tav is nokin. So it's all the Eivishter. And those is what the Achonot to the Gula is like. That's why the preparation very close to the Gula is this level that says you will not hope to for a person. You will not wait to put your trust in another person. Demult, that means that Demult, that means that the Ganzen and the Mehelam has to compare Not the Pshet, you only the person. Then, because we said before that could be, you have to do Derech HaTeva. But the Derech HaTeva is not a Metzias for itself. You come to a point that the hell of the Hester from Teva, the Teva nature, which is normally a concealment of the That's why it's called Teva, as I said before, because it's like something that's sunk into the water that you can't see it. So it's a concealment of the But at that point, it will not be a concealment. Even if it's Zen, the Boso, we will see with our eyes of flesh the Teva Gufa is Alakus, the nature is Alakus. The river of the downside, the Saitik at Alma is Hashem, that's what it be like Tal, which is completely from the you will not hope to people, you will not wait for people. Like we said before, he'll make the 
which is a deeper pshat. Normally, when we learn the chsidis, this pshat means that some people don't need to make a kedla derech They don't know it. It comes up as very mumayla. But the Rebbe explains here what it means is there is a kedla derech but the kedla derech is not a separate entity. It's the abish that is the is the kedla. The kedla which still is the abish. Apikola now, but in Pashtain, based on all that, we'll understand the shaykhs from the Rapteira, the connection of the Rapteira, to the Siyam Pashat Bolok, to the end of Pashat Bolok. The Siyam of the Rapteira, the, the, I mean, the, the, the beginning of the Rapteira, it doesn't say the beginning here, but the shaykhs of the Rapteira to the end of Pashat Bolok. What does it say in the end of Pashat Bolok? So it's read that Tzilk, like the Mchet from Baal Peir. Then the Pashat Bolok, it talks about the Yidin sinned with the Aveira of worshipping the Baal Peir. And the Messias Nefesh from Pinchas that the Mchetan Sakhing in, and how the Messias Nefesh of Pinchas fixed it. The Shnamat, like it says, Vayichapar Abu Yisrael. He went and killed Simit and Soloi because of Asur, and that made the day Bishesh forgive. So we learn two things here. We see that the problem was the Balpeir, and the Messias Nefesh was one that fixed it. And that is connected to what we said before is written in the Haftar. How? So the Rebbe explains like this. It says, It says, It says, As the Shadish Vachet Balpeir. What's the source? What's the root of Balpeir? What's the Avera Balpeir? How do they worship the Balpeir? Perim, Kulu, They would uncover themselves in front of David Zora and they would give all their waste out in front of David Zora, and that's how they worship. What's the, there must be some Ruchnesdike meaning here, what they wanted to do. So Chesidus says that the Sheirej, the root of that is, the person gives importance to physical pleasures. But they are the sailors from the Tainik Shilamaila. They're the sailors, the waste of the pleasure above. Let me explain a little bit. <coughs> it says that every the Elokus is Nimsha from one level to another, Shalshla is from one level to another. And what it says is that the what shot one from another, the next one is a lower level of Gilly Lakus. The next one is a lower level of Gilly Lakus. So when there's a Gilly Lakus in one world, the higher world, the higher level remains in this world and whatever is considered the waste comes into the next world. In the next world, what was waste in the higher world now is Gililukus. But then whatever is the leftover from this world comes to the next world. So the Gililukus in the next world is really the waste of the previous world. And the lowest level of a Lukus in the spiritual way was the next level. What is its waste? Gashmias. The Gashmias is the waste of the higher level. So all the pleasures of a Gashmias is basically the psalas, the waste of the higher level. So if people give importance to the pleasures of Gashmias, that means giving importance to the psalas, to the waste. So we say, Avort, that one of the Chassidim said when he saw a big, gigantic building or mountain or something, he said, wow, this here, the Malachim in the higher world did a good job here. This is what they made because it's their waste. So to speak. So giving pleasure, giving importance to pleasure of Gashmias is really giving pleasure to waste. And that was nostalgical to an Avedazara, that the waste of the human being became the pleasure, became their way of serving their Avedazara. So it comes out as the whole idea of Pa'ir is the Nakuda of giving pleasure to the giving importance to the pleasure of Elam Haz of Gashmias. How does it come to that you should make an important, such an important thing when it talks about psalis, the Gashmas Diki pleasures, which is really psalis, really waste? If Teva is important to you, so then you can make a Nikarabu. You could become completely engrossed in Gashmas Diki pleasures. Because the first thing where it starts is Gashmis is important to you. Now it goes, even though you know the Iker is the Lakus, but Gashmis also. Now when you know Gashmis also, who knows what that could lead you to, as we said before. So the Inyad of Valpae represents the concept of giving importance to Gashmis. It starts to be saying, you see this, it represents the idea of giving Hashivas to the pleasures of Gashmis. But what makes you make that so important? Because the Etzim Gashmis was important to you. Even in a high level, but it started with Gash importance. The fun is moving them, the meat is moving the Maimra Khazal. This explains what the Khazal said in Yeah Kapora from Khetz and Balpair concerning the forgiveness of this Aveda Balpair as Adak Shavlizoza Lehman Mukhabat Chicha Mason. It never moved away yet. Yes, we always 
constantly have to have this kapora for this chet to kiss a mason. Why? Bechure, we did an aveda, then they did shuva, and they wish for game finished. That aveda is off. Why do you constantly need a kapora for this chet? So the Rebbe explains why. Well, the part of a kapora bishlemus from them chet, the real complete kapora and cleanliness to clean yourself from this aveda. But their zayin lost it. Love it will be only in the future when the zayin bishlemus aveda and teva. When the teva will be elevated completely, because we recognize the teva is connected to Hashem, is one with Hashem. There's no, then there won't be no possibility to make Gashmi is important. When Gashmi, you will see, is Elokus. But till then, till Mashiach, till Los Elo Betchias Amesim, it's very hard. Gashmi is, is a Mitzias in the eyes of people. That's why since Balpeh represents, the give, starts off by the idea of giving an importance, recognizing Gashmi as an entity, that's something that will never get rid of till Mashiach will come and then there will be completely, we'll see there's no Gashmi. We'll see Gashmi, the Gashmi will be there, but the Gashmi will be an expression of Debesh's will. And the river, Kum di Kapore, there's the Messias Nefesh and Pinchot. We said before the whole idea is because you give importance to Gashmi, you're not completely bottled to Debesh. What is the opposite of the Balpeh? Because we said before that giving importance to Gashmi is comes because you're basing it everything on Tam Badat, basing on your Seichel. So a Mele, Seichel tells you that Gashmi is a Mitzis, et cetera, et cetera. So what's the opposite of that? The opposite of that, the Mitzis Nefesh, Lomaylam at Tam Badat. So the opposite of Valpeir was Pinchas. He went on Mitzis Nefesh. Azam Mitzis Nefesh, Evel Chatera, Lanes of Amos, A Maidenly. It's a real Mitzis Nefesh because it says in Halacha that if someone will come and ask a Shaila in such a case like by Pinchas, can I do what I did? And they'll tell him, don't do it. He won't pass him that he could do it. And nevertheless, he did it beyond even what they would pass him. And I feel that they're fun that Pinchas doesn't even care that Besna will never pass him to me to do that. But it's a good thing to do. So he goes on Mesir Shnefesh even better. I feel the Mesir Shnefesh, which is higher than logic, even a holy level of logic. We get that fear, like I said before, as Dafka of Bitl, Maidam Matam Vadas, I feel the Kedusha. That when is do you really recognize the truth, the real higher level? If you have beetle higher than Tamadas, even than Kedusha, because we said before, in Kedusha, you could also figure out that it should be Tamadas of Kedusha. Like we said before, the Yitzhara comes and tells you, what's the first step? He comes and tells you, do the mitzvahs like you want to do. And he even explains it out to Seichel. So it's a Seichel of Kedusha, it's telling you why it's part of the mitzvah. But the moment the basis is the Seichel, we said before, who knows where it could lead you to. So here also, you have to have Mesiris Nefesh, Lamailu Metam Vadas, even the Vetam Vadas is Gdusha. That's what happened by Pinchas. Pinchas in Gdusha, in Teire, he could have not done it. And it would have been fine. Because Allah have a maiden, can we don't pass him that? Nevertheless, it went to Mesiris Nefesh. So if you have that, Kemazir Bavorin, Kidaboy, Mit Mafrazain, Skishin Teba, and Alakus, then you're sure, you're guaranteed that you won't make a separation between Teba and Alakus. Chotch Teire Zok, Barach Hashem al Kechel, Chosh al Tasa, even though the Teire says you should. Hashem will bless you whatever you do. And you do have to do in Derech HaTever, but there won't be a conflict. Because the Derech HaTever you do, you will not look at it as Derech HaTever, you will look at it only as an expression of David's Tzvots. In Mitz Eich Muvim, the Shaykh Hasmanin, and also the Knis Levit Yisrael. This also explains the connection between what he said before to the Yidin being ready to enter at Yisrael. was caught up to the Zman HaKnis, as I didn't give him the from Pashas Bolok and now see Beis. As we said before, the whole story with Bolok and Bilom, and then the end of the Parsha, Happened very close to the Eden entering at the soul. So obviously, this has a shaykhus to the entering of its soul. What's the, what's the shaykhus? In Midbar, is given at their mon. In Midbar, you had a mon. Ahog and Nisis, it was a complete miracle, behavior of a miracle. Was in the shaykhus given Kemach Natoes, as my Sibni Odin can them absolutely. There was no possibility of a person making even a mistake, thinking that what a person will do will make a change. Fishraman, like it says, well, I had if I'm Arbe, Mamit Lehersit. No matter how much you collected, you didn't get more than what you were supposed to. No matter how little you collected, you didn't get less than what you're supposed to. When the gemon, the money given nor if them talk, and also the money was only for that day, for one day. So every day they have to trust Hashem. So the money represents trusting Hashem completely. So that's only the way they were in the midbar. Hashem can not take nisa let to throw, but after they enter let to throw. And it says the Chon game. They say that Avedet Meretz Meshev is now it's an inhabited land, a land that you have to go in Derech Hatever. 
But the Gedar free of Avodim the Minyan from Baal Pei. So before they went, they wish that we have to we have to make sure that this concept of the Baal Pei should not interfere. That means that they were telling the Eden, as Chol Ches Hei Tzichon Na Seder Fa Pitzavet. Even though we're starting a Seder, a natural Seder, not going to be money, not going to have miracles. Tafech Demol Zayin Le Yikavalish. Even then, you should not hope to the person. That means. We should do Terech HaTeve, but Vizovis, and we should know as Teve is Nitke Mitzis, as Teve is not an entity for itself. That even when you're doing Terech HaTeve, you have to have the same Bitoch and trust David. Just like in the Midbar, it was only the trust in David. There's no Terech HaTeve there. So he's saying now when you go into the Eretz Yisrael, well, you have to have a, it should be like it was in the Midbar. So here all this brings out but the Rebbe started saying that what we said before, that you're not going to put your trust in person, means not that there will be no Teva because you will be higher than Teva. There will be Teva, but you will see how the Teva is nothing but one with Eivishter. Thus, the Roy in the last step of Managolos, and the great to the Knisil and Tesol, the Mishir Tetkino. This is the lesson. In the last days of Golos, we're getting ready to go into the Tisrael through Mishir. The lesson is like this. Even though now we're in a darkness, a double, double, triple darkness in the time of Golas, the opposite, not only of the Gula Shleim of the complete Gula, not even the beginning of the Gula, we're not at the beginning of the Gula yet. And when we said, we see how the darkness is there. Since whatever's going to happen, it depends on our behavior. Behavior during Golas, as it says in Tanya. So, in other words, the Rebbe is trying to say that we have to start behaving now, similar to where it'll be then, because we're getting very close to it. This is in all of Golas, our behavior is in the what's going to be later. And you have to behave slowly because everything is Achonah to Mashiach. But now, in our generation, the Achonah is even stronger. The last achonas, the last preparation for Mashiach. The Pizm of Pekush is made with Chomi Admura, the three Kerebbe said, and Mashiach is Ahmed Achak Slain, Mashiach is right behind the wall. So he's ready to come. Nochmed, the case we have Golas Bremish, and the three Kerebbe used the Losh, the walls of Golas are burning already. So since now we're so close to the Gula, Tarzain, I'm a Enal Kaponi from the Ravedi from the Kavi Leish, and the Ravedi from Kolech Vechod, that you have to have a little bit, a sim- something similar, at least a little bit. So the way it's going to be when right before Mashiach will come, when it says that there will be no hope. We're not waiting for another human being. And that in every person, his own Aved, we have to start living now already that the ways of Teva have no importance. And the Bitoch and Avzayim, nor in the Mavish, you have to trust only in Hashem. And before we even see the Gula, this will cause that everybody will be redeemed. From all his worries and things which confuse him. Because if you're doing derech hatever, whatever you have to do, you're doing it and you do you. Gash is everything. But you do it only because that's the way to accomplish the rotsin of David. He's monitored in them. So nothing will worry you. See, if it's important and it doesn't go so well, you get worried. The gash is not going the right way, I think. But if you know the gash means it's only David, nothing but David. What am I going to be worried about? And it won't be mavalvalim. In his non negay, who's freedom of Rotten Valley. All you want to do, David, that's it. There's nothing else that comes to you. So that will be the cooler protest. And this, we said, you'll be nigal, you'll be redeemed from your problems, which means you'll have a redemption, an individual redemption, which is happening by everyone, which will happen by everyone if you behave that way. Is there the achona? That will be the real preparation. And Kayla to the good of Klolize, Mashiach, the Kenu, will be the Kayla to the complete, to the general goal of the Mashiach. Peace to the Yem Shekula Shabbos and Nuchan Achayelon until the real time when it says the day will time will be completely Shabbos and it will be Menucha Achayelon and forever till we come to the real Gula Shleimer. So now if we behave that way and we have the true Bitochem and realizing that Teva is not a Metzias at all, even though we have to do the Teva because the Teva itself is a Lukut. Now we can't really see it completely. That won't be till Mashiach will come. That's why Baal Peir is still around because that's what Baal Peir is. But at least that is the best Achonah the coming of Mashiach, when this will be revealed, and we will see that with our physical eyes.